same fucking comments. Like, why do you care that she's sleeping with black men? What does it matter to you what she does in her sex life, Olivia? You're weird. You're obsessed with her pussy. Why do you care about who she sleeps with? The reason why I care about who she's sleeping with is because she's taking divestment talking points, for one. She's taking divestment talking points only because she knows it'll get her views, and she's mad at her baby daddies. That's why it bothers me. To me, when she takes divestment talking points, she destroys divestment. She destroys divestment because she makes divestors look as fucked up as she is. And people will associate her with divestment. You see all over the manosphere, people calling Cynthia G. divested. And when this happens, it makes divesters look like a mess, okay? And honestly, let's just be honest. Cynthia G is a whole 100% rejected, dejected black woman. That's what she is at the end of the day. And people like her have that problem. Now, why is it so much of the time that she rejects one? movement it only hurts divestment we don't need to embrace them or encourage this type of association because it only makes us look bad in the end continue that a bitch can sit up on live for two hours three hours straight talking about how black black men are sugar booties how black men are addicted to boys how black men have dirty dicks how black men are trash bag dusties or whatever the fuck you know, she makes really stupid analogies. But my point is, you can sit live all day talk about how, how nasty they are, how buck broken they are, how they don't choose you, but you go and suck a black dick. That's stupid. That's fu- it's not just stupid. What does it say about her? It says that she's dirty, that she's degenerate, that she's disgusting, and she values herself on the same level as those destroyed and dis- disgusting black men. It implies that she is disgusting, too, because what is the female counterpart of disgusting men like these black men that she's talking about are going to be basically equal to those black men? You know, that's why you don't choose those black men, because if you choose them, it implies that you see yourself on the same level as those black men. You know, if you think you're too good for them then act accordingly, but she doesn't. And her actions say more than her words do. And her words are only for money because we all know what she actually originally said. I don't understand why people always try and act like, oh, it's just basically what she says now and I like what she's saying now. But do you remember what she originally said about black women who interracially date? She doesn't like them, and now she's not any different. She's attacking people for interracially dating, specifically black men. But you really mean to tell me she thinks that black women are any different when honestly... Her main issue with black men isn't anything different than what she would say about a black woman. You know, the only one that she can understand are the rejects. She can't actually understand women who actually openly, honestly, interracially date because that's their natural preference. She doesn't comprehend them at all. But continue. I'm stupid. So all you fans that tell me why do you I care, it's, it's almost like a homeless person they gonna help me. I'm homeless. Look, I need some money. To just, I need some money for some food. Then they go and drive a Mercedes out back to their house afterwards after pretending to be homeless. Get the fuck out of here. This is why I care. Because you're not gonna sit here and act like you don't like black men, but you suck a black dick. Okay? This is why I care. Yes, because that's the main part of her channel. The main part of her channel is talking about black men and all the problems that she doesn't like about black men and attacking black men, right? So, I mean, of course you want to talk about if she's in a relationship with a black man is important. If she was just baking cookies, you know, and she happened to be in a relationship with a black man, it wouldn't matter. But the main thing about her channel is about not liking black men. 
the, so how can you not like black men and then still be with black men? One of the two cannot be true. And it's obvious that what she's saying is not true because we've already seen in her past behavior that she has no issue with the preference towards black men. She thinks that's how black women should be. Her real issue is actually women who are divested, women who are swirlers, women who are rainbow swirlers. She doesn't like that we are attracted to other races. And you can see by actions, she still will not um, be with any other race because she still has that view towards people who interracially date regardless of gender she doesn't like us and i don't understand what it needs what needs to be done or what it takes for people to understand that she's just talking but does she feel any different than she did before her actions tell you that she still doesn't like you she doesn't like the divesters, she doesn't like the swirlers, and she doesn't like the rainbow swirlers, you know? And that's why she won't open up her options ever, because she is pro-black, and she is pro-black men. She just uses you for money. Fools? Who she sleeps with, okay? You know, this is why I care about her burning coochie, is because it's hypocritical as fuck. You know, if you're gonna if you're gonna call black men nasty down low sugar movies, I mean you still taking black dick, that that lets me know that you like pain, you like torture, you like having to go to the to the clinic with your coochie burning. And more than anything, it means that she's diseased. Maybe that's what she's even talking about. And the times when she's talking about them having STDs, she's talking about her own personal experiences. Maybe she was inspired to do videos like that because of her own personal experiences of STDs from black men. Despite it all, she's still willing to stay with black men. And that's a diehard mammy. You see, people always think she's not a mammy. No, all the things she's complaining about going through with her baby daddies, with her children, being a single mom, SDDs, and so forth, and still she's with black men, that's a diehard mammy. Mammies go in for the long haul. They will get beaten, bruised, and tortured with black men, and they will still come back. That's a true mammy. You know, that's a mammy. You know, a mammy will do anything... And it's in her power to get a black man's attention. And she literally proves that by her channel. All that she does focusing on black men, attacking black men, is to consistently try to get black men's attention. Like any mammy ever does. You know, this is just normal mammy behavior. But people don't realize it because many of the time, the very people watching her are mammies themselves. And so they can't tell other mammy behavior because they have it in themselves as well. Anyway, continue. You're weird. You're weird, okay? You, you're crazy in the damn head, okay? You're crazier than me. This is why I don't like Cynthia G. This is why...